the reality is you can try to throw up a, a barrier here and there. Uh, it doesn't work and it doesn't last. And there are going to be technologies that uh, work their way around whatever barrier you throw up. And I think that's why the, the fifth generation of leadership coming up, I think they get this part. And you can only hold back people so long before you have to come up with a longer term internet strategy, openness strategy, that I think is consistent both with the political implications, which are, which are very real, but also with the economic development implications. And I'm guessing in the head of, of Xi Jinping and in the head of Li Keqiang and in the head of Wang Xishan and in the head of Wang Yang and then the head of Yu Zhengshan and in the head of uh, Zhang Dejiang. Uh, all the people who are going to occupy positions uh, at the top, maybe even Li Yuan Chao, that they're thinking in their head, we've got to solve this one. And longer term, we have to have a strategy that's, that, that accommodates innovation, getting back to that key pillar on the economic development side. You can't have an innovative society. You can't have the kind of uh, entrepreneurship broad-based without access to information and an active uh, use of the internet. You, you, it's simply impossible. And I think they're smart enough to know that. So my guess is that, you know, so you have to give the new leadership time. You can imagine next month, you know, 2,000 delegates are going to descend on Beijing and uh, they're going to appoint the 200 members of the Central Committee and about 150 uh, alternates and then they're going to go into plenary session and they're going to appoint the 25 members of the Politburo. And then they're going to figure out the standing committee of the Politburo. Will it be seven or will it be nine? You know, it was nine, uh, you know, in the last 10 years. It was seven before 2002, before the 17th or the 16th Party Congress. And Jiang Zemin, when he left, you know, he, he, he instituted a few changes like uh, a retirement age of 70 to get Chao Shi out, out of the standing committee. And, and then they lowered it to 68 uh, to get Li Rei Huan out of the, uh, out of the Politburo. And, and so we're going to see changes every, every step of the way. But I'm guessing we'll be with seven members of the standing committee and give them a year or so to consolidate power. Once power is consolidated, I think then reforms begin. And top among them, I do believe, is going to be dealing with the internet in society. It's a big one with political and economic implications, but it can't be avoided forever. Mm -hmm.